In sub-Saharan Africa, agriculture technology or agri-tech as it's known is booming as farmers continue to look for solutions as they continue to produce in the wake of climate change and exploding population and uncertain economic times. Now today we are broadcasting from the Africa Agri-Tech 2020 right here in Swanee as we look into how technology is impacting the agriculture sector. But as usual, we've got all your news and views from across the beautiful continent of Africa. So Jumbo, Saubona and welcome. I am Dumelo Mototwani and this is Hashtag Africa. Twenty twenty and beyond is the theme for this year's Africa AgriTech event, which is helping producers to navigate through the evolving agricultural ecosystem. But to help us better understand this, I'm joined by the CEO of uh, Afgri Agri Services, that's uh, Mr. Jakub de Villiers. Thank you for your time and welcome. Thank you very much, Tamila. Thank you for the opportunity. Absolutely. We're just saying that, you know, every time you think about agriculture, even farming, you think about dirty boots and you think about, you know, crops. But this event is making your industry quite sexy, I have to say. I think that's a very nice thing to have. At last, we have a sexy industry. You <laughs> spot on boots, scales, dung, all those things is normally associated. But this really gives uh, everyone the understanding that agriculture is much more than the crop cycle it includes a whole industry and all the technology that surrounds that industry is showcased here today right but also technology plays a role today and how farmers and producers can meet with technology to advance the sector how important is tech it's unbelievably important we all know that we have limited resources we all know that there will be food scarcity later in our life cycles and i think it's important for us to know where we can enhance production and I think this is exactly what we're trying to showcase here is how do we make sure that we farm better with less resources. How do you also ensure that farmers get access to innovation and some of this technology? I think it's important that we have uh, places like this where you have these showcased but it's also important for ag businesses like ourselves to ensure that we take the innovation to farmers to ensure their sustainability, which will make us sustainable. Yeah, and I know that your company, I mean, you invest in various, uh, you know, uh, departments or rather uh, divisions, whether it's food, agriculture, financial services. What excites you about meetings and gatherings like this, especially to move our agri sector forward? I think it's important for us to know that we have a very diverse industry uh, with people and the role players that we have. We also are acutely aware that this industry, apart from feeding the nation, is also probably the one place that can really relieve poverty out there. And I think this is where we want to take this message to the world, is this is the industry that can really make a long-term sustainable difference in our country and in the lives of our people. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, we head over to Mali now, where climate change and conflict are increasingly contributing to increased food insecurity in the region. But an innovative architect has designed a fully automated greenhouse to beat the heat in the region. Climate change and conflict mean that today it's much tougher to grow vegetables in Mali than it was 40 years ago when Amado CDB used to visit his father's lush farm outside the capital, Bamako. And that's why the man who built Mali's first fully automated greenhouse is looking to expand. With human activity, you find that the rains are more and more irregular, the droughts more and more frequent, and we no longer control the water. And if we no longer control water, we don't control agriculture. Hotter temperatures and drought are adding to an already volatile situation in Mali, where jihadist groups roam the northern desert reaches. In a country where 80% of the population make their living from agriculture, water reserves are precariously low and arable land is shrinking, causing tension between communities. But inside a plastic and metal structure to the northeast of Bamako, Sidibe has built an oasis where vegetable and fruits such as strawberries grow all year round. This little computer is a technological jewel that controls the irrigation for the whole farm. It controls the quantity of water for each plant, and God knows that in this farm we have more than 40,000 plants. So this computer provides the same amount of water for all the plants and the same amount of fertilizers. Siribe, who began the project in 2011, says they currently grow 200 tons of tomatoes, 60 tons of melons and 40 tons of cucumbers a year. 
He plans to expand from one hectare to ten hectares and has sold two further greenhouses in Mali. This month, three UN agencies warned that the number of people facing a critical lack of food in the central Sahel has spiked over the past year and that the interplay between climate change and conflict is creating a cascading crisis. A Tunisian startup is helping to preserve one of Earth's significant species. Now, a smart device is helping beekeepers to track their hives and reduce losses. Developed by Tunisian startup Iris Technologies, Smart Bee tracks indicators such as temperature, humidity, and the quality of bee humming, alerting keepers in real time of any problem. بديت من الاول ب 15 نبيت نحل خذيتهم وتعلمت فيهم خلال تجربتي هذه تعرضت برشا مشاكل من اهمها هي سرقه بيوت النحل والتغيرات المناخيه اللي ادت الى انهيار الخلايا بارتفاع وانخفاض درجات الحراره والرطوبه بشكل مفاجئ Farmers say that theft, climate change and beehive collapse are among the most serious problems beekeepers face اللي حاولنا نعملوه نحن كشركه هو تطوير جهاز يعاون الفلاح على تطوير مردوتيته والكفاءه نتاعه عن طريق استشعار مؤشرات ولا بوادر المشاكل اللي تنجم تقع في الخليه. الجهاز هذا هو سمارت بي يتحط في وسط الخليه يعطينا معلومات دقيقه عن حاله الخليه فهو وقتها بامكانه ياخذ القرارات في سرعه قياسيه ويتفادى عده مشاكل وكل المعلومات هذه تجي عن طريق الهاتف الجوال نتاعه والا عن طريق الرسائل القصيره. The app is equipped with sensors and transmitters and alerts beekeepers through messages sent to their mobile phones. يواجه قطاع تربية النحل عدة مشاكل. المشاكل الخارجية والمشاكل المرتبطة بالفلاح. في المشاكل الخارجية مثلا هي التغيرات المناخية اللي تأثر على الخلية كخلية وتأثر على النباتات اللي تغذى منها الخلية. والمشاكل هذه المرتبطة بالفلاح اللي هي مشاكل السرقة، مشاكل مثلا انهيار الخلية، المشاكل المردودية، برشا عدة مشاكل. حسب منظمة الغذاء العالمي ثلاثة أرباع الحاجات اللي ناكلوهم النباتات اللي ناكلوهم تجي عن طريق تلقيح يقوم به النحلة فالنحلة مهمة جدا لحياة الإنسان. The inspiration to build the app came after Khaled's father, a beekeeper himself, lost a number of beehives in a heat wave in 2011. اليوم نحن في حاجة إلى تكنولوجيا جديدة اللي تعطينا المعلومة لما يكون فيه معناتها النتيجة من جر عن التغيرات المناخية مثلا من حرائق من تغير من تأرجح درجة الحرارة من رطوبة وهذا من خلال مؤشرات اللي هي تنجم تعاوننا باش ناخذوا قرارات مستقبلية وكيفاش نصرفوا مع مع الخلايا. Smart Bee will be exported to a number of countries including Libya and Oman. From bees to other flying things, well, after the break, we find out how drones are helping to elevate agriculture to even greater heights.